Hey everybody, I'm Adam. And I'm Gary. And we're with Brian Gale. And today we're going to talk about... Hybrid Classroom! <laughs> Hybrid Classroom! <laughs> So the hybrid model here, when it comes to meetings and such, is clear it's here to stay. Today we're going to talk about uh, a hybrid classroom, although sure. this is not limited to hybrid classrooms. This could be conferences and meetings and all sorts of things like that. But we'll use the classroom as an example. When we're thinking about a hybrid classroom, what are the main things that we need to be aware of? What does that teacher need to successfully do their job? And the students. students. Yeah. They need students. Students. And, but where are all the students in this model, right? So in this model, there's going to be some students in the room and there's going to be some students at home, most likely. A big thing that we've been working on and lots of companies have been working on is how do we create that in-person experience when someone is not in person? And there's a lot of tools that we have available to us to do that. I mean, what, what do you think is a good implement implementation for this teacher in their classroom? Yeah, cameras, microphones, speakers, and displays on both sides. That way you can have two-way communication. Yeah, so that sounds like a whole bunch of stuff. And I know that when I was in school, we had that little plastic sheet overhead projector. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I remember later we got like digital projectors. And when those digital projectors came in, I remember the teachers having a lot of issues with those. Um, so now you're saying not only do they need projectors or TVs, but they need cameras, they need microphones. Like, are, are they going to be plugging all this stuff in every single day? Every day. Yeah, every day they have to come and take that out of the closet. No, no, no. It's all going to be set up. It's going to be super easy, right? Everything needs to be easy for all users. So that way the interaction takes, the interaction comes first. A pretty common implementation is there will be uh, a touchscreen device uh, on the instructor's desk. And they will actually just literally push start. And once they push start, it'll automatically turn on all the technology in the room and it will track them. So for example, we can have microphones that can cover the entire space, but have the ability to zero in on the person speaking. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, we have cameras that as the instructor maybe is walking back and forth in front of the, of the classroom, the camera will follow that person automatically. And we also have the ability, if we're using something like a smart board, to take all of that content that the instructor is writing on the board and push all of that content and all of that to the far end user. It's not just about making sure the technology is in the room and your workflow is correct, but making sure that everybody participates appropriately. So, you know, and this is not always easy to control, sure. but ideally the students that are remote will have their cameras turned on. So when the teacher is standing at the front of the room, looking at the display in the back of the room, there's, there's actually, actually yeah, there's, there's people. A there's a person there, not just a, a, a plethora of black screens. Exactly. Uh, that's and hard to teach to. I think there's been a lot of emphasis on the fact that we have to outfit classrooms. We have to outfit classrooms. But we can't forget that if a student is only looking at maybe like a little seven inch tablet that doesn't have very good speakers, doesn't have a good microphone, that's not gonna be the same learning experience. So we need to remember that the people at home need to have the appropriate technology to learn as well. So what would that look like? The simple one is just a laptop with a, a yep. decent webcam. Yeah. Uh, decent microphone, decent speakers. That, that'll probably get you almost entirely the way there. So to recap, I think what this looks like is a room with technology that works for the teacher that is just really, really simple to turn on. Sure. Making sure that the remote participants have the appropriate technology to participate. And then lastly, making sure that the workflows are set up that make it easy for everyone to collaborate together. And if you guys have any questions about this, go ahead and reach out to us or leave a comment. Reach out to us on our website, brightengale.com, or give us a call. Thanks.